7 and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to enable multi-touch gestures on your iDevice um, so I'm gonna be demonstrating it with an iPod Touch 3rd generation but the instructions are basically the same for the iPhone and the iPod Touch 4th generation so um, for this you'll have to have SSH installed and if you don't know how to do that it's basically simple what you need to do is go into Syria and search for open SSH and install it um, it's free so you don't have to pay for anything and after you've installed that you will need to have WinSCP for Windows and CyberDuck for Mac and I'll have the link in the description for both of those so once you have that you just open the, prob the program and actually I have my cursor you're gonna and so once you open it for the first time you will be greeted with this screen and so um, in host name you will wanna put your um, IP address and how you find that is pretty simple you go into settings um, you click on your Wi-Fi and where where your Wi-Fi is just click on the little blue arrow and where it says IP address you put it in host name so mine is one one two dot one sixty eight dot one dot one two and for username you will type in root and password admin so then just click on it it will connect and after it's done you will be greeted with this screen so um once you're in here um you will want to go to the little slash that is here and first of all you will need to have this um, three modified playlists and I'll have the link in the description for the three of them so once you have that you go to the little slash in here and you go into applications and if it gives you this error just click ok and go back once again and here you will see um, applications so once you're in applications you will need to search for preferences.app double click on it and so then you need to search for settings that playlist so here it is and you will have to back it up i have backed mine to a folder which i call playlist so you can back it up wherever you want so backup settings that playlist and general the playlist and once you have them backed up you will need to drag um, these two files settings and general just drag them in to um, where is it? here and so after you've done that it'll ask you if you want to copy and if you want to um, replace them just click yes to all so um, and once you've done that you will have to go back to the slash and go to var mobile library and in here you will have to go to where was it um here i have it so uh, library and preferences here it is <clears throat> and here you will have to look for com apple dot springboard which is here so um you will have to back it up the same to your folder or wherever you saved it and after you have backed it up, just drag in this one to here and copy yes to all. So after you've done that, you can exit out of that. Yep, and so the next steps are on the iDevice. So <coughs> hey YouTube, so after you've done all the steps that I mentioned in the last part of this video, you will have to go to iFile and if you haven't installed it before just install it now and you will be in the screen so you want to go way back to the slash and after that you will want to go to system library core services where is it core services there we go core services and then go to springboard.app and here you will search for in 90 ap.plist 
and that is for the iPhone and for the iPod Touch is an 18 AP dot P list. So um, click on it and select text viewer and then you will wanna click edit and you wanna search for where it says um just let me find it where it says key multitasking key true and you wanna click in here and then just um click intro one time and you will be here and so once you've done that you will wanna type in key um again this key and then move tie tasking multitasking um gestures 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 and then um type it again so and then type in key and then again this one so it should look like that and I have it in the bottom but I'm just gonna type it again so that you have so that you can see it and then click intro one more time and type in this and then true true um slash and 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 it should look like this, but I'm just gonna delete it because I already had it. So at the end, it should look like. Wait. What the heck? Oh, sorry. It should look like this. Key, multitasking gestures. Key, true. And I'll have it in the link down below so that you can see it and then just click um, save and done and after you've done those steps you can exit out and you will have to respin or reboot if you want to so um, once it's done respringing you go into settings and you'll see on the top gestures the same as these ones and so it'll I think they will be off but you can just turn them on and so just let me demonstrate to you that they work perfectly so I can exit with a five finger pinch or I can reveal the multitasking bar with four fingers up Oops. or wait Trust me, they work better when you have it in your hand. Or I can switch between apps like with four fingers. What the heck? Well, yeah. Well, I'm gonna add them sync in another occasion, but trust me, they work um, pretty better than this, so. Thank you guys for watching, please comment and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.